Google has a union now. Google employees have decided to unionize, uh, and they're unionizing not just against Google, but also its parent corporation, which I didn't know it had a parent corporation. Uh, I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but I sure as shit didn't. Uh, I guess it's called the Alphabet uh, Corporation. The the union is called the Alphabet Workers Union. And they're a small union right now. Um, this story broke early in the year. And it, I think it broke right before the insurrection. So it kind of got buried a little bit. But I wanted to talk about it uh, uh, here just for a few minutes. Uh, this is very good. This is very good. They're a small union. Only a small percentage of people have uh, signed up to, to to be a part of the union. So right now, it, within within the corporation, within the Alphabet Corporation, um, and even within uh, Google itself, they they don't have a lot of power um, to negotiate on the on the behalf of workers. Um, but regardless. This is a very good thing. There, Google is a is a giant in uh, in in the tech world, right? Uh, and this sets an example that one people within any sort of corporate infrastructure do want unionization. They do want to be represented accurately. They do want to, you know, um, be at the negotiating table and. And guide the company where it goes. I mean, unionization is the first step towards worker co-ops, in my opinion, where where the workers are uh, part of the leadership of the company itself, right? So, uh, and worker co-ops are a lot more fair. Uh, they they offer a sense of community for your work. They uh, help with uh, leaving out corporate corruption. There's no board member. Everybody votes and decides. It's a lot more democratic than than what corporations are now. And there's examples of that. I've, I've talked about several examples of worker co-ops. Um, this week, I released a video on socialism that talks about worker co-ops. Um, there's a video that talks exclusively about Mondragon, which is a, a worker co-op in Spain that a lot of other companies have uh, uh, looked to for innovation. Um, so this is this is a big first step. The more this this union gets support, the more it's going to show corporate America that um, this is possible and that the working class deserve a seat at the negotiating table. If Google can do it, so can Amazon, so can Walmart, so can any, any of these other companies, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, whatever, right? All of these other corporations can absolutely unionize and they absolutely should unionize. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep a track on the story, but I, I wanted to, uh, to, to point this out. Uh, you can follow the alphabet, alphabet workers union, a W U is the union there. Um, so hopefully, you know, I, we, we get to see some positive results. We get to see, uh, Google, including its, uh, workers at the negotiating table. We get to see these workers holding Google accountability, for their motto of uh, "Do no evil," or or what is it? Let me let me pull it up here. Um, is it "Do no evil"? Don't be evil. That was which they took off of their uh, mass setting. Uh, is is "Don't be evil," uh, and I believe the the people that that supported the union their their uh, hashtag is "Don't fund evil." Um, so you know. This is a good thing because a company like Google needs to needs to have its feet held up to the fire, and a union like this is going to uh, to do exactly that. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor people, uh, un unsubscribe people, and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, 
whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of uh, of various shows that I uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. And go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. And I hope to see you at the next video.